This weekend, it's the end of an era. It has been reported by MMA Fighting that this will be the retirement bout, or it's looking like the retirement bout, for the former UFC Bantamweight title challenger, Rowdy Betch Cohea. Is it Rowdy? Is it Pitbull? I don't know what it is, but Matt, for Betch Cohea, this is it. It's been quite the career. Somebody who went pro, I'd say later on in life, and she's taking on a very talented prospect in Carol Hosa at just 26 years old. The five on in is spectacular. She's taken on a good level of competition in the UFC, and she's passed every test so far. Matt, for Betch Cohea, that five on in's not that great, unfortunately. It's been rough. It's just been a rough turn of events for Betch Cohea. She really is a product of early women's MMA, and she was a very aggressive fighter. She had good power, but that were really the only two areas of her game that she had to speak for. I even go back to the Shayna Baszler knockout. Yeah, she knocked out Shayna Baszler. You mean WWE Shayna Baszler? Yeah, they used to fight. Shayna Baszler is a member of this group called the Four Horsewomen. Hear me out. So, Betch Cohea basically made it a point that I'm going after these Four Horsewomen of MMA. Because, again... Early women's MMA, they're just not, there weren't that many fighters around. And since these four women trained together, it was kind of a unique thing. So she went after these women. She beat Shayna Baszler. She beat Jessamyn Duke. And then she made her way to a title shot against Ronda Rousey. And I know those two fighters don't really sound like the level of competition that gets you a title shot. But you have to remember, when Ronda Rousey was in her prime, the one great thing about Ronda Rousey was she fought like every three months. Ronda Rousey's prime lasted for like a year and a half. I have to remind myself this all the time. She really only fought in the UFC for like three years, but it felt like she was around for much, much longer. I, big spiel aside, Bench Cohea made it a point to go after these women to try to get a title shot, and that boosted her profile significantly. It made Bench Cohea one of the most popular fighters in women's MMA. And since then, it's kind of been a big disservice to her and to her career, because when you fight someone like Ronda Rossi, and yes, she lost very early in very devastating fashion, but still, then you're only going to fight people like... Holly Holm, you're only going to fight people like Raquel Pennington. You're only going to fight those other top tier fighters in this division. And I gotta be honest, I never felt like Betch Cohea was at that point to begin with. She kind of fast tracked herself to a title shot. And after it was like, okay, Betch, you're probably not going to be around for that much longer. Now, yes, yeah, she's managed to stick around. And it's not like she hasn't won since that title shot. She, ha she has had a few good performances. But my issue is that Betch Cohea's game has never really evolved. I still think Betch Cohea is a similar fighter to the one who beat, Shana, who beat Shana Baszler all those years ago. And I think Carol Hosa is a much more modern MMA fighter. And it's really hard for the old to beat the new in MMA. I put it up there for the gym for Betch Cohea. I went with, instead of Pitbull Brothers, Team Cohea. Because she does seem to have her own gym going down in Brazil. She's got a very active Instagram game. Very much an influencer there. And for her, again, and yeah, that five on in, she's got a draw against Mary Renault, and then the losses are against good competition, Holly Holm, and then Irene Aldana, that was back two years and four months ago. She beat Sajara Eubanks two years ago, and then a year and two months ago, Penny Kanzad. It's been a lot of injuries for Betch Cohea. She had a bad eye injury, and so on and so forth. For Carol Hosa in the UFC, the wins are over Lara Procopio by split decision. You really could have argued that either way. She beat Vanessa Mello quite handily, and then she beat Jocelyn Edwards, who... Listen, I don't have to tell you. Very good striker. Not a good grappler. That's how Carol Hosa was able to get that one done. For Cohea, though, just in the last couple of weeks, she picked up her Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu brown belt. So, neat to see. But, Matt, when I look at the odds for this one, maybe not a surprise. Cohea open a plus 235. She's a plus 300 right now. For Hosa, open a minus 275. She's about a minus 391. Again, best fight odds. The votes on Topology, not even close. 851 of them, 94% for Hosa, 84% uh, by decision for the 6% that have Koya, 64% by decision. For me, it's always been the fight IQ of Betch Koya, and you can queue up all the memes of her hitting herself in the face and getting dazed, or who was it? Was it against Penny Kanzad where she walked back to her corner and the fight was still going on? Just, like, yeah. She's just had weird spots in her fights or spots where she has a lot of success in, in her boxing and she is a good boxer she really is but she has a lot of success and then she just kind of stops it's like okay we gotta keep going if you want to win the fight for hosa fluid in her striking very good on the ground very good top pressure i like carol hosa in this fight i i think carol hosa it's a division that's not very deep. So for a few more wins for Hosa, you're right up there. You're fighting those top 10 fighters. I think Hosa's going to be a top 10 for a while. So I, I do like Hosa in this one.
I think Carol Hose is going to win this fight and fight Misha Tate next. There's the prediction. All right, Matt. Both of us going with Carol Hosa to go on a legend killing tour. Exactly. We have Hosa to win. And hey, maybe Betch Cohea goes full Alan Joban in the retirement fight. She gets a big win here and is able to ride off into the sunset. But yeah, both of us having Hosa in the main event, Matt. Similar thing. Couple of Brazilian strikers. We've got Johnny Walker taking on Thiago Santos. You're not going to want to miss that. Let's keep it locked in with Fight Night Picks, as we always say. Let's, let's get, get into, into 